Hi, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Girl Scout cadet. My friend Kimberly and I are working on our Silver Award project and as part of our project I'm going to show you how to make a Days for Girls drawstring bag. I'm going to show you how to make the bag up until the point where you put the drawstring in. We're not going to do that part because there's residents at the nursing home who like to do that. Let's get started! Before we get started, I'd like to share some of the fabric guidelines that the Days for Girls organization has developed. In order for the Days for Girls kits to work well culturally and durably, please follow these basic guidelines. First of all, the fabric should be new. Also, bed sheets should not be used because the threads are not as durable. Please make sure that the fabric you choose is 100% cotton. Go for darker colors with patterns to help hide stains. Botanical, geometric, and batik patterns work really well. Here are some fabric designs that should be avoided. Light colors, faces and eyes, insects and snakes, although butterflies are okay. Anything with a hunting theme, such as camouflage or guns. Solid saffron color, cartoon, TV, pop cultures, national flags, words, and glam. Thank you for taking the time to make fabric choices that will be the most beneficial to the girls and women who receive Days for Girls kits. After you've purchased your fabric, you'll need to cut it into 12 inch by 30 inch pieces. This is a handy diagram that shows you how to get four pieces out of one yard of fabric with very little waste. Using this template, you'll be able to make four bags from one yard of fabric. These bags get a lot of use, so I'm going to serge around all four of the edges to make sure that they last a long time. So as you can see, I've surged around all the edges, and now we're ready to attach the label. Right here I have my label placement guide. Now I'm going to line it up and center it in one of the short ends of the fabric. As you can see there's a little window right here. That's where we will put the label. I have my fabric glue and my label. And I'm just going to put a little dot of glue on the back of the label and place it in the window. Now I'm going to give it just a few minutes to dry before we start sewing. So when you're sewing on the label, you're going to need orange thread to match the color of the label, and it needs to be 100% polyester thread. And you're just going to sew around all the edges of the label. So you can see I've sewn around the label and now we're ready for the next step. The next step is to draw the lines for the casing on the wrong side of the fabric. I have, I've got my template here and I'm going to line it up with the short end of the fabric and then I'm going to draw a line along the bottom. Now you're going to move the template down so it's lined up with the line you just drew and then, and then mark the notches. Now I have one long line and two short lines below it and I'm going to do the same thing on the other end of the fabric. Next I'm going to fold my fabric in half with the right sides together and make sure everything's nice and lined up and smooth. Now I'm going to put three pins in each long end. The first one up at the short notch mark and then one right about here and then one at the bottom. So 
So now I've got three pins in each side, and now I'm going to sew from the top pin down to the bottom. For the rest of the bag, you're going to need a dark colored thread that's 100% polyester. Now I'm going to sew from the first pin down to the fabric fold with a 3 8 inch seam allowance, and I'm going to lock the stitch at the beginning and the end. So I finished sewing from the notch mark to the fold on both sides and now we're going to head over to the iron. So now I'm going to press open the top half of the side seams and it's going to make kind of a V shape. Now I'm going to sew down the center of this side seam and then turn and go back and forth to reinforce it at the two notch lines and then go back up the center of this one. So I just sewed along the whole V shape and I locked the stitch right here and here and I went back and forth right here at the two lines. Now we're going to get the casing ready. On the wrong side of the fabric we're going to fold down one end about a quarter of an inch just past the serging line and then press it down with an iron. Then fold it down to the long pencil line and press again. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side of the bag. So now I'm going to stitch down the pressed casing with an edge stitch about one eighth of an inch and I'm going to lock the stitch at the beginning and the end. I sewed the casing closed by making an edge stitch from here to here on both sides. Now we're done sewing so we can turn the bag right side out and push out the corners and then we're going to press it flat with the iron. Now we're going to press out the finished bag so that the edges are nice and neat. Now we're going to check the dimensions of the final bag. You're going to need to make sure that your bag is between 10 and a half and 12 inches wide and 12 and a half and to 14 inches long. Normally the next step would be to insert the drawstrings, but as I mentioned earlier, we have some residents at the nursing home who like to do that part for us. There you have it, an almost finished Days for Girls drawstring bag. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I hope it was helpful and I hope that you will make some bags to help us with our Silver Award project. Bye!